How's it going, everybody? This is Sean from TightPoker.com, and uh, in response to a really good amount of traffic and uh, response that I've gotten personally to videos in regard to heads-up displays, uh, HUDs, better known, uh, through Holden Manager, we're going to talk about something that's a feature that not many people are using, but you're going to need to. Uh, it's a really good thing, and that's using multiple HUDs uh, with Holden Manager, and you're thinking, what on earth is multiple HUDs? Well, that's when we're going to go into Holden Manager, and as you can see, I have both Holden Manager and Omaha Manager, and that allows me to you know, bring in both Holden and Omaha hands. And what I'm going to tell the program to do is to give me a HUD for a specific game on one site, and to give me a completely different HUD for a different game on another site, and I'm going to tell it to do it simultaneously. So I'm going to play Omaha on one table, and I'm going to play Hold'em on another table, and they're going to have completely different HUDs. And a big mistake that I see a lot of Hold'em players use is they use the same HUD while playing Omaha. It's a completely different game. You need a completely different HUD. And we'll even go into what you might need to do in order to have a good Omaha HUD. Uh, because I've personally done uh, quite a few articles uh, you know, discussing just this fact. Um, a lot of the big stakes pros, ironically enough, are just getting into the whole HUD thing. And I mean, they've been using their Poker Ace software, which is you know three, four years old. Uh, and they're just starting to adopt Omaha Manager, and you know they're just learning the whole HUD thing uh, because they're used to their reads and you know not massively multi-tabling. But we're seeing these, you know, Holden players come over and they're used to playing 16 tables and using their HUD to make reads. And uh, the whole thing is is a little up in the air. It does remind me a lot of how things were about five, six years ago uh, when HUDs just first came on the scene. But we're going to go beyond that. We're going to do a little bit of a HUD primer. Uh, by no means is this, you know, binding and, oh, this is the, the absolute way because, especially with a game like Omaha, there's, uh, you know, there's a saying, there's a lot of ways to skin a cat and there's a lot of different ways to approach the game profitably. But we've got a nice base thing here, so let's just go ahead and get into it. As you see, we are in Hold'em Manager, Omaha Manager Professional. Uh, you will see anything very similar to this in editions 1.09 and above so if you don't have the newest version make sure you get the free upgrade they patch it all the time for whatever new features come out so that uh, this program is always constantly supporting the site so make sure you go to holdemanager.com uh, and then go to the forums and you'll be able to download it there so this is 1.09 beta 10a the beta 10a doesn't matter just make sure you're at 1.09 and get the latest version so we go into hide options and then we're going to go into the player preferences tab and that will bring up this box. And this is, again, should be pretty familiar from other videos. Uh, you have your configuration, stats, appearance, and the use for, we'll get into that. Here are all the stats, and here are the color ranges. This is uh, my actual uh, default layout right here. And so the default is used anytime I play Hold'em. So whether it's full ring or six max, uh, and I have actually debated using different HUDs between uh, full ring and six max, because there are some subtle differences that I find uh, constantly key, uh, come up. For example, I always see people limp call or limp fold in full ring, and I, I'd love to know which players do that, whereas I rarely see that in six max. In addition, I see a lot more donk bets uh, in full ring, so it's like, okay, well, you know, there's some stats, and, and I'll want to change that. With Omaha, it's a completely different thing. But we'll see all that right here. Uh, make sure that you have whatever game you play the most is your default, because, you know, that's by default. Uh, so let's say you wanted to create a new configuration click on the new config button, right? And give it a name. So we'll go 6max Omaha high. And we hit OK. Now what it did is that it just uh, copied whatever was in my default stat area. And so we don't want that uh, no one folds to a 3-bet in Omaha, blah, blah, blah. We just I'm just doing this at random at this point. And then we will just pick stats and add them in. Again, I'm doing this at random because I don't want this video to be like 45 minutes long. We just need to basically show you the theory. And so let's just say this was uh, the stat display that we wanted to use. This was our HUD for Omaha 6 Max. Now this is just a name. It doesn't actually do anything. What we need to do is assign this HUD and make sure you also use these color ranges. That's going to be uh, very helpful for you. What you're going to want to do is then go in and assign it for specific games, even on specific sites. So what we do to accomplish that is once we have this done, 
We don't need to go into appearance. We go in the use for. Okay. Well, what that does is it assigns this HUD to be used for blank. So we want to use this. We don't want to use it at any heads up tables. Uh, we only want to use it at six max and we'll even do tournaments. We don't want to use it at full ring. What site? Well, uh, we can assign it to whatever site we do. Uh, if you're a Dracula poker user, you probably need some uh, help beyond what I can give you here in this video, but uh, most of us are playing on parky, uh, podi <laughs> Poker Stars, Party Poker, iPoker, Ultimate Bet, Absolute, Bodog. I mean, they're all here, so. Uh, and not to pick on Dracula Poker, I've never played there, but I mean, come on, it's called Dracula Poker. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so then we pick the game. We can do all games uh, if you just want one all-encompassing HUD to rule them all. Like Lord of the Rings, you can do that. Uh, otherwise, you can do Hold'em, Omaha, or Omaha 8 or better, where that's the high-low game. But we just want to do Omaha, and we're done. So what we do is we click, let me show you, Apply, and that will lock it in. And then we hit OK to exit, and we're done. And as you can see with this HUD, uh, I have it assigned to any and all Omaha games that played on PokerStars. So if I'm playing heads up, six max, full ring, don't matter, this Omaha hub, HUD is gonna come up. And uh, we can kind of look at the stats. And again, as I alluded to earlier, uh, these stats came from uh, looking at several blogs of some of the high, uh, high limit players that play Omaha online, as well as doing some research into threads on various websites and seeing really what Omaha players need to learn. Uh, it's a work in progress, but I think it's pretty good. Uh, you've got the VPIP, PFR, went to showdown. Those are pretty uh, important. Three bets. Uh, the fold to three bet is something that is really not important because I'm finding nobody th folds to a three bet, um, you know, at like PLO 50 and below. Um, and then you've got aggression percentage, flop C bet, and fold to any bet for every street. So this is the flop, this is the turn, this is the river. So that gives you a really good street dependent variable uh, set of statistics that you can see immediately how players play because you'll see some players are super aggro on the flop and then they just give up on the turn and river and a lot of players fit that mold and then some of them just never give up and you see that they just never fold at any point so uh, it's it's really interesting and uh, you can definitely uh, set up some interesting plans when you get into a hand with some of these people so uh, let's take a look at this thing in action real quick all right so we are ready and loaded and so let's uh bring up this table here this is no limit hold'em uh nothing but huge stakes here at tightpoker.com <laughs> but as you can see uh we have our hud and this is our uh, hold'em hud and we also have our pot limit omaha table and we have a completely different HUD here, and I'm playing simultaneously. So that makes it really cool. I have two specialized HUDs. It comes up at a specific table on a specific site, and I can even change it between tables on different sites. So that's cool, and that's not something that uh, many people are using at all. I don't hear anyone talking about it, but uh, I definitely found it to be a, a huge thing that you can use to your advantage while using Hold'em Manager and a heads-up display. So that pretty much wraps up the video. This uh, should be a pretty good primer for you to really focus on getting your HUD to a customized format to where it gives you the stats that allow you to play the best to your capabilities. And that won't be uniform between different games such as Omaha and No Limit Texas Hold'em. You're gonna need different reads. So look into what works for you and take some time and you invested the money into the program, now it's time to invest your time into the program and get exactly what you need out of it. So go ahead, do this, experiment, have fun, get on the forums and talk about what works for you and find out what works for other people and use it to the best of your advantage. This has been Sean for tightpoker.com. Good luck in the future.